Don't force us to take up arms. Stop silent ethnic cleansing in Imo, Epob warns Nigerian government. The indigenous people of Biafra, Epob, has raised the alarm over what it called the secret and indiscriminate elimination of Igbo youths, particularly in Orlu, in Imo state. The pro-Biafra group in a statement by its media and publicity secretary, EMA Powerful entitled, Nigerian government is secretly silencing the southeast region alleged that the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police are behind the dastardly act. IPOB's statement read, The noble family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, led by the great and indefatigable leader, Mazinamdi Okukanu, condemns the alleged indiscriminate and extrajudicial executions of Igbo youths across the southeast region, particularly in Orlu province of Imo state. The latest extrajudicial execution of some youths from Obidi Ogbururu of Ihito Weri in Orlu, Imo state, by the Nigerian army, is among the most horrible silent ethnic cleansing practices that the Nigerian government is sponsoring against Indigbo in Ali Igbo. These murdered youths were going about their normal business peacefully. Sadly, they were accosted by the Nigerian army on patrol and were shot dead for doing nothing. There are many unreported killings and forced disappearances of the youths in the southeast region, particularly in IMO state by the Nigerian security forces. Why is the Nigerian army patrolling in our villages? The silent genocide of Igbo youths in the southeast region that started during the Buhari regime has been sustained in this Tinubu's government. Why the hate? Nigerian soldiers and police are the real terrorists terrorizing in Digbo and making Aligbo unsafe. The tribal bigoted government of Tinubu is doing everything to provoke Indigbo to pick up arms in self-defense so he can unleash a full war on Indigbo like his kinsmen did between 1967 to 1970. But they can't control the future. We are alerting Igbo governors, Indigbo at home, and notable Indigbo in the diaspora, the international community and human rights organizations to be aware of the silent genocide being perpetrated by the Nigeria government against unarmed civilians in the southeast region of Biafra land. Igbo governors must work to stop the indiscriminate arrests, extrajudicial executions, and forceful disappearances of Igbo youths in the hands of the Nigerian security forces. The Nigerian government and her murderous security forces have profiled Indigbo for elimination. They are silently and systematically killing and causing disappearing innocent Igbo youths. The constant harassment and silent genocide is a strategic plan to intimidate Igbo youths to desert their communities while making their communities vulnerable to the Fulani terrorists' attacks. The entire southeast is heavily militarized and policed to choke life out of Indigbo in their land. What has Ndigbo done wrong to warrant the brazen slaughter of innocent Igbo youths by the Nigerian government and her murderous security agencies? The earlier the Nigerian government and the international community conduct a referendum for Biafrans to decide either to peacefully and democratically exit Nigeria or remain in suffering with Nigeria. The better for Nigerians and Biafrans alike, but using intimidation, illegal arrests, torture, extrajudicial executions and forced disappearance to coerce Biafrans to accept Nigeria will not work. Instead of Biafrans loving Nigeria with the level of innocent Biafran blood wasted so far, they will be radicalized to hate Nigeria the more. Forced unity is slavery. Indigbo is known to revolt against slavery. Our ancestors revolted against British slavery. Our fathers revolted against Nigerian hegemony. And this generation of Biafrans will revolt against silent genocide and ethnic cleansing if the Nigerian government refuses to do the needful. How could the Nigerian government and her murderous security forces be eliminating innocent Igbo youths, as if our youths are animals? But one thing is certain to the tribal bigot government of Nigerian Digbo cannot be profiled and defeated. Indigbo did not come into this world by mistake. God Almighty Chukwu Okike Abiyama has given us our ancestral lands and nobody can coerce us to abandon it. The murderous Nigerian soldiers and police who delight in wasting Biafran's blood should remember that one day their blood will be spilt in like manner. 
He that kills by the sword shall die by the sword. Biafrans are not animals that are to be hunted by the Nigerian government and her murderous military. Thank you.